They shut down the port back to Luzon. Yeah, we just were there last night. Ah. Doing a great job. The longest 48 hours of my life has come to an end. Ended up on the port here in Shargao and we were told that we're completely clear, there's nothing to be worry, worry about. Got a small note that I'm carrying in my wallet at all times that says I'm cleared, health checked. Isolated together uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we didn't use public transportation because we did a road trip with the car so it was easier for us to stay. Uh, safe. Okay. It was good as we, I think we had our temperature taken over the past two weeks 20 to 30 times. Yeah. So, um, okay, so more or less, uh, given that all of you are Asymptomatic and that your um, basically your quarantine is already over. All of you are clear. Hey, crazy! We just we're told that the ferry from Bicol to Samar is closed off. They're shutting down all the borders around here, and it's now it's a matter of where do you want to get stuck when it first gets closed. So we just decided to turn around. We're not doing any more. <laughs> Hiking right here. What about Nelly? What's your thoughts? So, I actually have goosebumps right now because you know we are in a situation where everybody runs into shops to get some uh, provisions. Everybody wants some alcohol to disinfect, face masks, and everything. So we are in a very extreme situation, meaning that in the, in this case we all are refugees. So I just wanted to say. Never judge refugees for leaving their home. No. Because I'm one of them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, it's just in certain situations you in certain situations you have to make decisions for you know a better option. We need to fuel up the car first thing. Because yeah. that's the next thing that's gonna go out oh, is gas. Gasoline and more specifically this diesel. Is apocopal apocalypse apocalypse. You know what I mean? <laughs> Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna come to this this fast, but it's a domino effect since they're closed off Manila now all the islands are closing down. So we want to get stuck in Shargao. Hopefully we can make that. So we're checking out the hotel one day earlier than expected. Mike was able to get a little bit of reception right now and send some WhatsApp messages to people and tell them to do some research for us in advance because we're not gonna have service for another hour until we hopefully get to the port in Samar. And then we'll just race down to Shurigao. It's about a five hour drive. We're scared that the bridge connecting Samar and Leyte will be closed. Hopefully it's not, we can pass. We'll get to the ferry. We'll do a three hour ferry to Shurigao, to Surigao, and Surigao is a big city. Hopefully it's not closed down yet. And then we'll go to Shargao. And Shargao, we can stay for years. We love Shargao, so we just want to get there. Woo! Woo -hoo, we're going. Bye, guys. We're leaving this beautiful resort. Bye. Twenty past twelve, uh, and I think to Liloan, which is the ferry port we need to go to to get to Mindanao to Surigao, is around eight hours drive. Oof. I'm guessing five hours to Tacloban, uh, and then three hours to Tacloban to Liloan. So we got to see which ferry that we can catch. If we can still catch them today, if not, I, I don't know. We'll have to try and make a different plan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you! Woo, we made it back. back! Okay, so we're in the car. Now, Mike, what's the next step to the plan? So the game plan is to uh, drive to Liloan, uh, which is eight and a half hours drive. And we are going to get the first ferry to Suriga. Thank you, Claire. The first ferry to Suriga, they'll know, to tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the morning, which means we have to be at the ferry port at 2 a.m. Um, and then we can get the first Montenegro shipping line boat to Shargao. And then it's smooth sailing from there. Left um, here? Or? 
I, didn't we come from here? Yeah. Yeah. We have to go back. We have to backtrack a little bit to Allen City and then go down. I think that's the fastest route. Okay. I'll be your map driver. So now we're trying to withdraw some cash because we think that cash will be one of the first major issues if this is a lockdown for over 30 days. Guys, the ATM machines, no go. Everybody's been withdrawing cash. They're out of cash, the ATM machines. So now we're at least getting gas for the car. They shut down the port back to Luzon. Yeah, we just were there last night. Ah. Wow. We just came from there. Very good. So nice here, man. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's a shame we just have to rush through. We'll come back. Yeah, we will. We just we just drove through a military checkpoint with guns and buses. Yeah, Where's that's there? why some of the buses are not allowed to pass through because they came all the way from Manila. Right. Last chance. Oh, yeah. Next city. This is out of cash. Hopefully the one to the left has cash. Guys, update. There's cash here. We now have cash on us. We feel a bit more, we feel a bit better now. And we're able to uh, get through if there's some more than a one month lockdown. And so now we're gonna go to McDonald's, just get some quick food in the car and then race for that bridge that we hope is open between Samoa and Leyte. You're doing a great job. Bye guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we made it to the checkpoint, the bridge. This is the moment of truth if we will get to pass. Longest bridge in the Philippines. Oh, it's dark going on. There's anything here? There's nothing here. There's nothing. Here's a tent. Okay. Appears. Okay, let's keep going a little bit. We did it. There's nothing. We did it. Play. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> So right now we are here at a mall and we're going to purchase some hard drives and supplies and just get ready to shelter us in on an island, which we hopefully will make. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. What have you been doing? Um, because the thing is, we'll be in an island uh, for quite a while. So I don't know the stuff's there. It's a small island. Stuff. So this is our emergency. Yeah, because we're four, that's why it's a lot. It's our emergency. But there are some snacks as well. That's why it's fine. Uh, Good job, Avin. You know where Nelly is? No. Eight hours of driving, we made it. We made it to the port. Just showing the documents, and we're gonna sweep through into the port. Hopefully, book our ticket to Suriga del Norte. It's a better place to live there now. <laughs> yeah. Getting tips from the locals. So many. <laughs> Where to go Just next? In case you'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Hopefully we'll get to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Park this car on the ferry to Surigo. Mike, amazing. I'm so tired. <laughs> Me too. Honestly. Look at this face. Ah, uh, the fast cat beverage. Kiosk. Paradise on Earth. Spicy Bulalo. watching this vlog I want you to know that we're safe uh, we're really looking forward to stay at one place and just let's all just battle this thing through and uh, I want to let you know everybody home there be safe you guys also stay together do what the government tells you to do and this thing will all be over soon and we just got confirm that we can go on the last ferry over to Shargao. It's our favorite island here. And if we're gonna be stuck for 30 days on some place, we want it to be Shargao. Or Batanes. Or probably, Batanes. Probably more Shargao, because Batanes is beautiful, but uh, you're very limited with... Uh, could you please be quiet? Thank you. You're very limited with, yeah, resources. <laughs> Thank you, Abit. <laughs> this, by the way, is my friend and vlogger, Mike. Go check out his channel up here. In the back seat here is uh, first my fiance. I'm loving it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And, <laughs> and one smelly Nelly. Oh, <laughs> also known as Nelly's life. Okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi Nelly. <laughs> Is the last stop, the last checkpoint. The Guys, last... I'm uploading a vlog before we board the ferry to Shargao. Just want to say that I love you all, and it's been an amazing journey. We made it. Let's board. Let's do this. Let's do this. The longest 48 hours of my life has come to an end. I woke up yesterday not knowing exactly what would go down. We raced for 10 hours in a car, took two ferries, <laughs> ended up on the port here in Shargao and we were told that we're completely clear, there's nothing to be worry, out, worry about. Got a small note that I'm carrying in my wallet at all times that says I'm cleared, health checked. And we're, I feel safe now, like it's literally the best feeling I've had in a long, long while because I've been watching stories from people at home and everything is just like shut down, locked down. People, I'm really happy that we're gonna be spending 30 days here during the lockdown. So yeah, let's start the Shargao vlog. Number one out of X amount of time. We will see how long we'll stay here. Keep watching. Due to the current state, they might implement home quarantine, which means no one can leave their houses. So what we're doing now is that we're buying some fruits and things that you know, 
we can have in the household for at least another seven days. So we're currently here in General Luna. We have arrived here and we're gonna head to uh, the place we're staying for the next 14 days. We have arrived guys and I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. Hi. <sighs> Love, I'm so happy we, we got here. <laughs> yes, I'm actually oh. in the refrigerator. It is so new, this place is so new. Yeah. That I literally got rid of everything like even the sneaker, stickers. Stickers on the fridge yeah. has to come off. So this is gonna be our home for the next 14 days. Um, we're gonna tell you all about it later. Yeah. But as for now, we're just gonna get settled. Yeah. Um, and bring all the stuff inside. I just I wanted just... to give you a quick update because I'm still tired, <laughs> happy, everything at once. So when we arrived here in Shargo, we were examined by uh, medical staff. And we all got these notes, which I'm keeping in my wallet at all times. So the reason they were able to clear me is because it's based on my travel history. And I could, through my vlogs, show exactly when I left Manila and where I am right now. And with this note, it was I was able to, to enter Shargao without any problems. And so right now, since we're all in this situation where we have to take it a little bit easy over the next couple of days, um, we were actually, when we came here, we were actually scared because this is one of the most crowded places we have been to for the last 14 days also. So it's not just, uh, you know, I completely understand everyone that is a bit tense during these times. Um, especially the locals, they don't know exactly where we came from, our travel history, but our vlogs is proof of where we have been for the previous th three weeks. But all we can do now is listen to government and stay inside. This is what we're doing back in my home country, and this is what we're do now doing in the Philippines. Hey, so good morning, Mike! Hello! <laughs> oh, he can't come in. So we look messy. Yeah, you look good. Martin has been traveling with you guys for the past uh, one week, mm -hmm. I guess, or ten days, and he still can't get making it happen. Making it happen. Uh, he always say making happen. Making it happen. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yeah. And anyway, Mike is a coffee lover, so he has borrowed me his Aeropress. It's time for coffee. So Ava has cooked breakfast for us and there are more, there are animals and humans <laughs> humans flocking <laughs> around the table. I'm very hungry Ava. <laughs> uh, wow, so we decided to eat breakfast outside today. <laughs> Quite cool, picnic time. Yes, go guys. After breakfast, it's time for a little medical checkup. I've been in contact with a local doctor here. He's coming over to check up on us and make sure everything's okay. Health uh, department. Yeah. Yeah, official. Official health department. So we're gonna talk to him now and hear what he has to say. Just got off the phone with the doctor and explained him where we're living. So he's gonna come to the front gate now. This is the doctors. Hello. Hi, Kuya. Hi Doc. Good morning. <laughs> so I'm um, Doc TJ Manala again. I'm the municipal health officer here and for her sake. Um, this is the job. Then. So um, we're just here to confirm. Uh, so we're, we're doing this for all of the travelers here in Chargao. So we've been going around the different hotels, hostels, and we're looking for people who just recently came in. So starting March 10th. Up until the, the initiation of the travel plan. Okay. So um, we we have we got your details when you entered, and we've been trying to look for you, but we weren't able to look for the place. for the place ah, specifically. So that's why okay. that's why we contacted. We were looking for you in a different way. Yeah. So we just uh, the, the the you texted me your itinerary. So I just want to clarify. It's me. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That was yeah. Yeah. Itinerary to yeah. clarify well, the dates. Yeah. With which, so um, to explain, uh, we've been looking for persons under monitoring. Mm -hmm. So what th what that means is, we have travel history or exposure for, with a person who tested positive for the case, but you're not sick. No. So, so um, persons so, under monitoring. So anyone who travels to the island, we are trying to just screen all of them. So that's why all of you are included. Okay. So yeah, now we're good. here to confirm your travel history. Yeah. Um, are, are all your travel histories the same? Uh, a little bit different. Yes, yeah. Okay. So do you mind if you just one yeah. by one tell? For us, you can go about ours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
tulong sa amin. So what what we look for for persons under monitoring is is if they have engaged in what we call a self card. Okay, so we count the number of days since they were last in a place with local transmission. So in this case, it will be Manila. And then we count 14 days from that. So mm -hmm. that would be your quarantine days. Okay. So, so we use that because within those 14 days, if you were in contact with a person or if you were already infected, you would present with symptoms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, counting from the number of days, March 5, your quarantine ended yesterday. Okay. So during that time, uh, did you like, you have developed some? Yeah. You, did you feel like a uh, cough, cold, or fever? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Never. None of us had fever. Yeah. I don't. So we'll just check your temperature uh, now. Yeah. 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 So but for those in Fe uh, who left Manila from Feb 29, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you're practically done. So again, but the question still is, do you feel any fever, cough, cold? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think the good thing for us was also Check we me. were kind of um, isolated together uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we didn't use public transportation because we did a road trip with the car so it was easier for us to stay safe. Okay. <laughs> so that's self quarantine for two. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't work on you. <laughs> yeah. You have to set it to Austria. Oh, okay. 36.2. Right there. Thirty-five Yeah, and I think what also was good is we, I think we had our temperature taken over the past two weeks, twenty to thirty times. Yeah. So you know. Maybe that's overkill, but yeah. That's, that's yeah, overkill. but just because we were on a road trip, and um, you know, we would uh, meet so many checkpoints, and so. Okay. On the one side, it was always fun when we saw something, we were like, mm, "What's here?" But then on the other hand, the people were so helpful and professional, and they just. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay, so more or less, uh, given that all of you are asymptomatic and that your um, basically your quarantine is already over, uh, all of you are cleared. However, I wasn't able to bring our cleared slip because usually that's what we give to those okay. people. Yes. Is that the one we have? The, the thing is, when we arrive, are oh, you already given? Yeah, when we arrive at the uh, at the Dapa port. Yeah. They also that did is, kind of oh, a yeah, travel that history is, for us. Yeah. Okay. Um, when so, we arrived in Chaga, I didn't mention this in the vlog, they did a health checkup. Yeah. They asked when did we leave, where, where did we go, and then they gave us a slip saying we're here yeah. because we've been out of the danger zone for longer than two weeks and our quarantine, our self quarantine is over. Um, yeah. well, mm. um, I think you guys arrived. Um, uh, nationality? Uh, Austrian. 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 Yeah. Austrian. Yeah. Okay. He's struggling with me. No, she can't. No, she Yeah, you're both in Norway. No, I. <laughs> you lived in Norway. No, it's like, it's a bra. Who's who? He speaks perfect Norwegian. I'm lost. Is she? Yeah, what's going on? She came out. She's been the bro. Yeah. Also, me, sir. That's a bra. What are the odds? Yeah. Uh, you know I have come with the two Okay. Yeah, so I have been with family. Where are family in Norge? All are in the house. So my mom has been locked inside her own apartment yeah. for 10 days in Norway. Okay. But uh, yeah, okay, yeah, well. I've watched the situation there. That, mm, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work in Europe. So that's why I didn't want to go home. Uh, yeah, in Norway. Confirmed cases. That's why we, we're lucky here. we've been in the Philippines for a long time without, <laughs> you know, because in yeah, Europe. Because it's, it's really necessary with lockdowns in the most yeah, yeah. places. Because especially in the, the concentrated area of Manila. Mm, yes. Since the, the local transmission was confirmed there. Yeah. 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 But it's it's good what you guys are doing, going yeah. around and checking. Exactly. How we're just trying to be really thorough, because especially since Sergao is a place where a lot of people visit. So uh, actually, uh, to, to try to move on, uh, sorry to speak.
be this a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna visit a lot more people. Um, we're just reiterating that even though you guys are already cleared, we want to reiterate that for you guys to practice social distancing. Yeah. Absolutely. One meter one away. Meter. Yeah. But um, um, to just uh, <laughs> avoid uh, like big social gatherings. Yeah. Yeah. And if no if, parties if, for now. No yeah. parties for now. Yeah. If it's inevitable that you like meet people, just make sure you always wash your hands yeah. and like one meter. Okay. Yeah. Even though we ensured that you guys are already not PUM, okay. some of the people who would be yeah. going to okay, your okay. place. Which would be that's true PUM. So uh, actually, they are advised to uh, to stay inside their areas or their like hotels. So if we could change the delivery system, maybe yeah, yeah, like, you could bring just the food yeah. to them instead. So, or whatever, okay, uh, that's food. great. It's up to you guys. But uh, I, and on our side, we just want, don't want. Those in quarantine to go yeah. going out. Like, yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> so at least we clarified most of the things. And do we have any other questions? Yes. In, in terms of things we we can and cannot do now, because we really want to uh, do like sport and uh -huh. go surfing uh -huh. and stay fit and that kind of stuff. Is that permitted now, or is it not allowed? So um, it, that's a complicated question right now because uh, yeah, you guys are cleared. Yeah. However, the the condition is there are a lot of people who currently aren't cleared. Mm -hmm. So if they see people who are surfing, oh, why is that guy surfing? Why is that guy yeah. doing that? They'll they'll they because it's still a voluntary quarantine. Yeah. And that that's the hardest part about this entire thing is making people. For every everybody. Yeah, it's right. making people follow that quarantine. So maybe if you can do. Um, because right now everyone's advised to just stay uh, like in one particular place. You can do an activity there by yourself or by actually asking first if the people you would be with are cleared. Okay. But other than that, we would advise that after we finish first the 14 days for all the people who are left here okay. before we uh, advertise that we, oh, you guys can go surfing or all you right. guys can go. Do, do you know how many days it is from now? Because we're counting since the right before the 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 travel ban started yeah so by the end of march by the end of march okay maybe by april uh, but then uh, I, I i cannot promise yeah, yeah that everything will go because they can yeah. extend yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. depends on the, right. the situation yes but uh, once we got down our numbers of pums to a more manageable number or like like negligible number then we can probably open up okay. things again but again not, not a problem Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Just relax and stay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alternative thing for. Yeah. And so um. Hi, I, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but if if actually uh, we're gonna take this opportunity to um, uh, because uh, we really are undermanned, because uh, there are a lot of PMs here in the island, so we really are undermanned in the rural health unit of General Luna. Which is located near Boulevard. We want. Uh, we need more volunteers to screen people like what we're doing. Okay. So um, uh, we uh, we are around twenty people. We're gonna have to screen. Let's. Uh, right now, the number of PUMs in the island are one hundred and. 90. Wow. 190. Yeah. And that's plus yeah, that's the people. In general Luna. That's yeah. in general Luna. So that's uh, plus the people who were stranded yeah. uh, and, and not yet. Uh, and, and don't have a way to get out of the island. Yeah. So we're actually looking at a number like 700 people. So we're just 20 people. So we're really, really. Wow. You guys really, are doing a great job. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. <laughs> we're really, uh, really uh, in need of some help. Maybe just. The manpower maybe. Okay, so in what way can we help? Let's just get the word out. Maybe get the word out. Okay. So what yeah. kind of volunteers are you looking for? Any any person. So uh, if anyone is willing to volunteer, we'll be willing to train them. Just go to the RHU and we'll talk to them and talk to them about our procedure. Uh, it's not it's not as high risk as the assignments we will be giving them will not be as high risk okay. as you would think. Just that we need people to talk to other people yeah. who don't have yeah. Well, I'd be happy to volunteer. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. no, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And anybody that's in, in Shargao, like also if you're a foreigner that watches these vlogs, you have to be aware Shargao is giving us shelter. So if we can help, we should help. Mm, that's true. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry I advertised that. No, no. <laughs> that's great. We're, we're a community and we need to 
make the situation better. Yeah, and we have the audience to help. So, you know, maybe there are some people who are still behind. Yeah. And maybe they are bored. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Boredom is uh, a great motivator. They have to watch your life. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, mm, thank you Again, so much. Shake your hands, but we can. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do that. We'll bye do that. bye. All the gold. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. I think that was cool. Yeah. That was good, yeah. We're gonna volunteer now. Yes. Now that we tested negative. Yes. Well, we've been having. We'll be. We've been having checkpoints every day. Yeah. And then one day it was eight times. Eight yeah. times in one day. To get here. So that's. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye guys. Hello. <laughs> okay, that, that I needed that conversation. Yes, with, uh, same, same exactly. Yes. So, uh, it's really good. It's really good to have yeah. that conversation. We'll update you guys. Very if, soon. We, if we can help make the situation even better through our community, yeah, I mean that's awesome. It's a win. Yeah, that's a win. Okay. All right. We have a, a new mission. New mission.